yeah, obviously, been uh, it's, it's a tough time in Welsh rugby. Obviously, budgets and stuff, and no matter who you are, it's, it is stressful trying to sign deals and stay with clubs and things. And, and just obviously that pressure is taken off my back now, so I can just focus on my rugby, enjoy it, and love it like I've always done. Yeah, obviously, there's external factors like you're saying, but deep down, I've I've basically grown up through the Dragons uh, kind of structure and grown up with a lot of the boys playing with them known for a lot of years and I'm, I'm a local boy and I and I love playing for the for this team and representing the badge and just the kind of environment around here is amazing and obviously deep down I want to stay with the club and now knowing I can is is, is a good uh, good thing for me. Obviously you see a, there's a lot of youngsters in the squad and I think it's just everyone's starting to obviously change the stigma of, of we, we have been a region I've been here for a few years myself that we've we lose and it's just like a, a kind of tumbleweed and we keep losing and then we're just known for being that squad who loses but I think it's more of a case that people have kind of taken more of a personal kind of attack to it now and we're out here to try and prove something and tr prove that we are a region who can be successful, we are a region who can come against teams uh, of top quality and put a good performance in and I think that's the main thing that I've seen now and, and everything changing and die bringing in stuff and you've got Obi in the bats coach and I think that's that's the main thing I saw moving forward, and I think that's that's a good structure for the next two years as well, developing people and then just kicking on. The Sharks, you know, the caliber they have in their in their team. Um, you got Springbok, you got World Cup winners in the team, and I think that's they're physical, they're they're big men like any any South African. They're up front, and that's what they like. They like the challenge and stuff. But I think it's something we we love. It's at home. It's at Ronnie Parade, and I think it's just hopefully just enjoying that moment and just trying to be as physical as, as they want to be. It's, it's, it's that kind of step in stone to the future if we if we get to the, the through, it's just that kind of, it gives you that confidence kind of aspect to it that we can, we can do it, we can put in performances and then it's that spiral effect into the future and just carrying on and keep building from every performance and just seeing how far we can go as a group and I think that's that's the main thing everyone wants and I think when you start winning and getting getting through and getting the performances you actually you, you get closer as a group you start enjoying things a little bit more and I think that's the main thing it's just trying to do as well as we can in this competition and see how far we can push ourselves. And definitely I think we're we're three from three from home at the moment and it's just keeping that that streak streak going really because I think we take we take a lot of pride on Ronnie Parade being our home and not making it easy or a pushover really for teams to just come and come and um, just get an easy win. And I think us us kind of putting that kind of pressure on ourselves not to let people come and just get the win. And